In this video, I'm going to be opening up the Flipper Zero. This just came in the mail, so I'm pretty excited about it. Here on the box, we see that there's the Flipper animation. Feels good, man. Some Japanese text, a little showcase picture of what the device looks like. It says that it is an electronic pet toy, multi-tool educational device. Sure. We've got some info on the back here www.flipperzero.1 It's Discord, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook Designed by Flipper Devices, assembled in China Okay uh, And then we've got a company here Philadelphia Pike Alright Serial number, all that good stuff So let's get right into it Oh, there's something on this side too Some of these features Sub gigahertz, analyze signals And use as a radio remote Infrared, use as a universal TV and AC remote. RFID, read and store 125 kilohertz cards and tags. GPIO, extend with hardware modules. NFC, read and store 13.56 megahertz cards and tags. I button, read and store Dallas touch memory keys. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff here, so let's dig in. All right, I open it up. We got these cool animations here lock pick skull processor lock umbrella floppy disk whales we got the firmware update right here update.flipper0.1 github source code the manual at docs.flipper0.1 and then it comes here with a cool sticker hack the planet nice Here's the quick start guide for the Flipper Zero. So, again, here's the full manual, docs.flipperzero.1. And it starts out with some instructions. Make sure to insert a micro SD card as depicted. It supports up to 256 gigabytes, but 16 gigs should be fine. Uh, format the card automatically from the menu or using a computer. It uses XFAT or FAT32. It works with micro SD cards in uh, SPI slow mode. Only authentic micro SD cards are properly supported in this mode. Uh, there is a list of recommended SD cards at that link. Nifty. Okay, so it says that there's a power on button. So hold the back key. Uh, upgrading firmware, rebooting, links. Let's see what else is on this thing. It doesn't flip out anymore, and this is just the zero safety and user guide, Flipper zero safety guide in multiple languages. Okay, let's jump into it. All right, so here it is. It, the first thing that you see after the instructions is the charger cable. It is a USB 2 Type-C right there. Type-A, here's uh, some styrofoam right there. And here it is, the Flipper Zero. Little slot right there, I'm gonna be able to pull it out right there. I'm gonna set this down, make sure that there's not anything hiding in the box. Sometimes they put Easter eggs if you can uh, find it. Looks like this piece of foam isn't really hiding anything. So I'm just gonna set this box to the side. And here we are, this is the Flipper Zero. It says, hold the back button to wake me up. And according to the instructions, we're going to hold it for three seconds. So let's do that. One, two, three. All right. Oh, look at that. And we can see the dolphin. Let's pull this screen off so we can actually read it. Hey, mate, press greater than to continue. Or the right button. Done. First of all, Thank you for your support. You're welcome. This was a nifty little thing. It's a freaking dolphin that hacks stuff. Kickstarter campaign was insane. Yes. Oh, yeah. I was very excited to see that. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Imautad, cyber dolphin living in your pocket. Okay. I can live with that. I can grow smart and cool if you use me often, okay? 
As long as you read, write, and emulate, you can check my level and mood in the passport menu. I, in a lucid dream, I could talk. Okay. Oh, okay, we're here. So, the dolphin's sleeping. Uh, let's just look at the hardware while uh, Imuat, the cyber dolphin, is sleeping. There's the micro SD slot right there. Here we have, I believe this is the one key right there. That's what this is designed for. With GPIO 17, 17, and there's some electrical contacts right there. That's the IR or infrared blaster for turning on and off infrared devices like TVs. This is a keychain holder. This is a type C plug-in port right there. This is the GPIO slots right there where you can plug things into it and do uh, upgrades or external plug-in mods. And I believe that there is also an NFC port where you can tap onto it. Oh, in a lucid dream, I could walk. Look at that. He woke up for a little bit. So let's look at the uh, the menu here. So, okay, if I hit the right, it does nothing. If I hit the center, it opens up the menu of different hacks. If I hit the left button, it does read... Oh, it's scanning. It does read raw. It is saved. If you save any frequencies there, add manually. So we've got different types of looks like frequency with general encryption types so door handles gates okay uh, frequency analyzer so this is nifty and last but not least we've got the back button to get back to the main part here so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to test out one of these frequency analysis tools and so I've got right here this garage door opener and you can hear it so let's look at analyzing the frequency of this So it doesn't seem to be running on a megahertz. So let's see what is going on here. Uh, let's look at the configuration. You have different frequencies of all types. And so let's see if we're not able to... Oh, there we go. It says 315... 059. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the other one so it doesn't mess up the, the garage thing. 315. Okay, so 315 seems to be the uh the proper signal. Okay. 314, 315. Around there. Okay. So reading. Turn down the configuration. 315. Modulation. I don't know the modulation types. I'm just going to leave it as is. So. That light is blue. And a little red there. Let me try to. Oh. That didn't seem to do anything. So I'm going to do read raw. Hit the record button. Oh, there's no SD card. Ooh. Well, we're not able to read and save anything this way. Frequency analyzer. So this is nifty. You can see the frequency that way. 315, give or take. Okay, that's that tool. Then hit, uh, the up button has lock. Oh, locked. Press the back button three times to unlock. Set pin and dumb mode. Dumb mode not implemented, okay. The right key does nothing. The bottom key, browser, <clears throat> show settings. So Bluetooth settings. So there's three empty blanks. What does that mean? Nothing. 
this may where the firm or update comes into state comes into play uh oh desktop settings uh dolphin state i'm just deleting these things i'm nothing in the browser okay so that is pretty much that now we're going to go to the main menu hitting that center button sub gigahertz we've got different things here so mm, this may be a this is a sub gigahertz frequency right here sub meaning under a gigahertz so megahertz we've got 125 kilohertz rfid that's not going to be this device here but i do have one on my keychain this is for a gym so let's see where it reads it let's read it in the back this is an rfid tag right here come on where do you read right here I'm trying to figure out this thing would read it maybe it reads it right here I'm trying it to the back maybe on the bottom like the dolphin's trying Look at him. He's got his psychic pendant in his forehead listening for the CPU. So maybe this tap is not 125 megahertz or kilohertz. Uh, maybe it's NFC. NFC card. Doesn't seem to be. Uh, infrared. Universal library. So essentially you can turn on TVs, uh, audio players, air conditioners. Oh, the air conditioner would be really useful. It does need a micro SD card, so that's something that I'll be putting in here. Uh, okay, the GPIO manual controls five volts so this is if you're going to be doing the hardware mods i have none of that at the moment so i'm just going to gloss over that i button um i don't have any i button devices at the moment though that might be useful for some gates so i'm going to skip over that bad usb empty folder you can put in all sorts of scripts here for rubber ducky usb scripts and you would plug it in using this cable and that's how you'd be able to emulate keyboards. So other plugins, we got Bluetooth remote, music player, snake game. That's funny. Oh. It seems like it has a theme song. Bluetooth remote. Oh, that's nifty. Keynote. Interesting. I'm gonna exit that. Let's look at the snake game. It's uh, just like any other snake game. Down. Right. Come on, go faster, go faster, go faster. Okay, will I be able to make this thing? Nice. Okay. So those are those plugins. Look at the settings. Bluetooth. Off, on. Okay, for battery. Uh, LCD settings. Backlight time, brightness, volume, vibration. Okay, storage. There. So here you can format the SD card. Benchmark it, factory reset. There is no internal storage at the moment. Power, battery info. So battery info. Oh, wow, look at that. There's another little bot. Om nom nom. Consumption is 24 milliamps. 92%, 27 degrees Celsius. 33.8 volts, 100% health. Nice. Reboot, power off. Not going to do that. Now desktop, favorite app. Oh, quick access app. I'll make that sub gigahertz. I believe that that actually works with my um, car keys as well. Oh, here's the passport. Imautad, mood happy level one. Oh, so you can have his levels here, nice. System, log level, default, 
not an error warning trace. So right now it's default. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the log, default debug, enable or disable. About, model FC1, okay. For all compliance certificates, oh, they got a compliance thing. Um, okay, what is that, Delaware? Uh, okay, the regulations FCC, Europe CE, I don't know about the EAC, UK, oh wow, there's just all sorts of stuff here. <clears throat> cool. And that's pretty much all of the settings. One more thing I do want to test out is frequency analyzer. Let's check out a car key. So this is for a Jeep. Let's just open car 433. So this is for a car key signal. So you'll be able to hear it. I want to turn on the alarm right here. There we go. So that is the basic opening of the Flipper Zero. And let me look at turning it off here. I believe I just have to hold the power or the back button for a handful of seconds based on their instructions. Powering on and Oh, it looks like I just have to go to the power button and turn it off this way. So power off. Oh, he's sad. He's crying. So Emwa Todd will be waiting for me here. Okay, off. All right. So that's the opening of the Flipper Zero. I like it. It's a nifty tool. It looks like it can read my car key frequencies, maybe open my car if I'm waiting for the signal. It does garage signals. Um, it does RFIDs and other things as well. So that's the Flipper Zero opening. So stay tuned for part two where I put the micro SD card in it and check out a few other things. All right, take care and stay sharp.